Well, I mean, how the world works strikes me as the typical conservative propagandist. I mean, what is it? He's been here since, what, December, and he's got 3,000 subs already, so it just goes to show that he's very good at his craft. Uh, but I do wish that you, uh, amazing atheist, I do wish that you would quit lumping in the subject of uh, capital punishment, uh, the death penalty, with the rest of the crap that that guy spewed, as if it's somehow parallel in its level of stupidity. Um, look, I mean, is it just so hard to concede that there, I mean, there are such people, there do exist people who are simply incapable of being fixed, and that there's a practical reality to that fact, uh, that the only way you're going to solve that problem is by, yeah, putting them down like you would a mad dog. Um, and there's nothing, nothing draconian about that notion, uh, that you would have to fix a problem by eliminating it. Um, we, we, we've done it all the time. We've done it to animals, and certainly we've done it to people. And we've been very sloppy in the way we've done it to some people, but that's a whole different subject because that's not really about whether or not capital punishment as a theory is wrong. That's really about the nuances of our legal system or, well, your American legal system. Um, so that's no, that's no excuse to write off the entire idea of capital punishment as somehow erroneous or what have you. Um, and, uh, you know, granted, there is a lot of bloody revenge sort of uh, bonerisms that go on with it, but that's certainly been reduced throughout history, throughout, especially recently. Nobody really does it for the, uh, I'm gonna get my comeuppance on you, all that kind of stuff that you sort of mimicked. Um, very, very few people do it. No, it's simply a little word called deterrence, okay? Yeah, you want to create deterrence by eliminating a problem, and um, yeah, they're, they're, people are doing the best they can, okay? The, the judges are certainly, a lot of them are corrupt and all that stuff, but I think if you, if you do the ends justify the means thing, I think the net result is going to be a result that's fairly uh, productive. Uh, because, I mean, well, how many times are you going to do the wash, rinse, repeat with all these, uh, you know, killers, murderers, who, you know, you throw them in a cage for 10 years, you rehab them, they say they're okay, Two days pass, they let, no, they're let go, two days pass, and then they kill again. And what, what then? What, once again, wash, rinse, repeat, ad infinitum? I mean, there just comes a time where you gotta say, yeah, I'm gonna have to put that fucker down. Because there's just, there's just no fixing him. And people like that do exist, okay? I mean, to me, if you're capable of killing once, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> a lot of the times, uh, you'll be capable of killing a dozen times and we want to be a, we want to create a system where there's a deterrence to that and there's no point in keeping people like that alive or hoping that they're going to be fixed by having you know us throwing the best world's best medicine at them no we just simply concede that yeah okay sometimes you just got to eliminate the problem by being a little um harshly rational i guess uh and i don't even view it as harshly rational i mean you just put the fucker out of his misery um, that's all it is. So, I don't see why you, you would just invest in this, in this idea that you just always got to keep letting these people out after they've been rehabbed. For what? To run the risk of them killing again. So, that's all. I mean, yeah, good, good video, but geez, why the fuck would you portray the subject of capital punishment anywhere near the rest of the shit that this, this conservative guy said? I mean, it's fucking irresponsible. So, that's all.